What's going on, YouTube world? This is your guy, Sills the Man, and I am back on this beautiful, gorgeous day. I love outdoors, I love weather. It just makes me feel good. So I'm here to make y'all feel good, you feel me? And in today's video, I'm going to talk about something that's, that can be pretty funny. This is gonna be an entertaining one. Because in order to understand a man, right, you gotta understand what a man understands. I said understand a whole lot of times, but you'll understand after I'm done talking about this. But before we get into it, please subscribe. That red box below this video box, please hit it. Uh, like, comment, and tell me what you think about what I'm saying. If you have an Instagram page, follow me at Sills the Man on all platforms. And if you ever wanna donate a coffee or a black tea, preferably to me, there's a link in the description below. Click on that and send your boy a coffee. Appreciate it. And also, don't forget to share. I forget to say that sometimes. Yeah, share. L spread love. It's the Brooklyn way, you know? All right, let's get to it. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about something you need to understand about men. See, when it comes to men, not only do we have a lot of issues with understanding and communicating ourselves and expressing ourselves, but we also have difficulties in understanding nonverbal communication from others. And this difficulty is at its peak with us when it comes to women. So as men, we have to understand how to communicate and, and, and not only communicate, but uh, also how to decipher communication, how to accept communication, how to listen and understand when someone else is trying to communicate something to us. And one of the most important and slept on forms of communication is nonverbal communication. The type of communication that has no words but is just as important. So today I'm going to give you seven faces that women make that makes a man's stomach drop. No one's talking about things like this, you understand? But Sills the Man is here to talk about these things because they need to be talked about. And this is important to talk about because a lot of men just don't get it. And, and it's not our fault sometimes. Sometimes we have to learn things in order to be ready for things, right? So I'm gonna try to drop some gems so that you guys out there don't have to experience hell's fury of a woman. After this video, you will understand that you need to pay attention to nonverbal action and nonverbal communications and mannerisms of women. Because there's a lot of men out there that say the wrong things and they don't even know they say the wrong things. But you can tell if you look at her face, her mannerisms, how she acts after you say certain things. If you ignore these things or if you are naive to these things, you might end up being lonely for the rest of your life because no woman wants to deal with you. <laughs> so the first face I'm going to present to you all today is a woman's statue concrete face. Now this face is one of the most intimidating, fearful, scary faces that a woman can make. Because when a woman makes this specific face, there was a whole lot of things bubbling inside of her, inside of her spirit, inside of her mind, inside of her head. But she's trying to keep composed because she doesn't want to act out right now. Maybe y'all in a, a public setting and she doesn't want to show out on you. Whatever you said, whatever you did got her so upset that she's frozen and stuck in time. And you will know this is a concrete statue face because it is a concrete statue face. It does not move. She does not blink. Her lips doesn't move, nothing moves, everything stays still, but her eyes are trained on you, like a statue. At this point, you know you've messed up. The second face that makes men's stomach drop when a woman does it is what I call something's on the floor. In this instance, she's looking all over the floor, even though there's nothing there, but just to avoid eye contact with you. She is so upset with you at whatever you did, or whatever you said that she does it, she can't even stand the sight of your face. So kind of like the first face I mentioned, she's trying to keep her composure, right? But at the same time, she can't stay still. There's, there's movement now, there's a little jitterness now. But instead of looking at you, she's gonna look in her surrounding floor area, just thinking about all the things she wants to do to you, all the things she's holding back from doing to you. So she's using this floor as an escape. So fellas, if there's nothing on the floor and she's looking on the floor, like she's looking around her, like she's surrounded by Legos and, 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 and spilled milk and, but there's nothing around her. It's a bare floor. Just know that you've messed up. The third face that makes a man's stomach drop is what I call 
the bombs about to blow face. Y'all ever watch the Discovery Channel, National Geographic, and uh, you ever watch a, a, a volcano erupt? But before it erupts, it, it gets, it starts to build up momentum. It starts to uh, hold so much pressure before it erupts. Take that and put that in human form. That is what this face resembles. In this situation, she is about to blow. She can't hold it no longer. And this has probably been a reoccurring thing with this man. He's probably been doing the same thing over and over and over again to the point where she can't even hold it in any longer. She's this close from erupting on you. She's about to go off. And you can tell because her nostrils are flaring. It's like the heat from inside of her head is trying to escape and it's making her nostrils flare and her eyebrows are stiff but raised. You can see the fire coming through. Her eyes are trained on you. And some blink in the situation and then some don't. But just know the eyes, <laughs> they're active right now. If looks could kill. So if you ever get to this point, just know that you have done the absolute most and you have really messed up, man. And whatever you're doing, if you're still doing it, you need to stop like now, immediately, before things get really bad. And to piggyback off of this face, this is the next face I wanna present. It holds the same energy as the bout to blow face, but it's on the flip end. It's more of an introverted version of that face. It's more of a calm action, but it's still very sinister in its ways. I'll call this one the Joker's laugh. This is when she's so fed up, so peed off, so angry that she just has to laugh about it. Like it's to the point where she, it's, it's just funny now. Like you can't be serious. Whatever this man is doing, she, she can't even believe it that it, to the point where it's, it's humor now. It is straight up comedy. Like she's sitting there thinking, how am I in this situation with this guy? He really doing this, whatever it is, with me? <laughs> Does he know who I am? There's so many things going through her head that she just has to just laugh about it now. And this is one of the most <laughs> horrifying reactions that a woman can make. Because the man doesn't know if she's laughing or in a happy way or laughing in a sinister way. Like, are you laughing like a kid at the candy store or are you laughing like a hyena before he eats his prey? You don't know. It's confusing. Therefore, it's terrifying. So, fellas, if she starts laughing after you do something stupid or not good, I think you should just leave the room. Just, just exit the situation. Come back to it another time when she's done laughing and giving off psychotic vibes. You don't want to be in that same area at that time. Protect yourself. The next face I want to present is the sinus face. That is when she's holding the bridge of her nose with her two fingers, either breathing through her mouth or breathing through her nose. Either or, she's breathing very hard. She's closing her eyes almost as if she's meditating right now. She's trying to find her inner peace. She tilts her head down so that she doesn't see you or the situation that she's currently in. She's in a whole nother universe right now. She's, she's separating herself from reality right now. So therefore she puts her head down, she holds her nose, she focuses on her breathing so that she may calm herself down. Because whatever you're doing got her super disturbed and she knows she doesn't have time for your shenanigans. So in this, in this instance, she's trying to find her peace. She's trying to separate herself from the reality at this moment so that she doesn't act out of character. Much respect. The next face is what I call the eat your mouth face. This is when she bites her lips and, and suck in her mouth just to not go off on you. <laughs> it's like she's putting a muzzle on herself. She's biting so hard that she might just end up swallowing her lips. <laughs> and that's why I call this the eat your mouth face because she is so angry right now. The amount of pressure her teeth are putting on her lips inside of her mouth, she just might bite her lips off. And if she does that, it's gonna actually turn into a scary movie. Scary for her and scary for you. So fellas out there, if you're talking to a woman and you say some something that, that you shouldn't have said, and she starts to bite her lips and suck in her mouth, just know that that means she's stopping herself from responding to you. She's refraining. She's physically muting herself from going off on you. She might even have bite marks after this inside of her mouth, but she would rather do that than go off how she really wants to go off on you. And she doesn't want to embarrass herself today. So she ate her own mouth just to save the embarrassment and save you. You should be happy. And the last face I'm gonna bring up is the, what is that face? 
This is when she squints her eyes, scrunches her face in pure confusion because she's trying to figure out who are you talking to? What did you just say? Did you really have the cojones to really say that to me? Who do you think you are? So when they have this face, just know that they have a lot of questions going on in their heads. And before they ask you these questions, they will squint their eyes. They will try to read you like they're reading a book with the words are too small. They're trying to understand what you're saying. It may look like they're confused in this moment, but they're actually trying to see if you're confused based on what you said or what you did in that moment. Because when you squint your eyes, you're trying to focus on whatever the target is, right? So if the target is you, brother, then you said something that really confused her. And now she's trying to read and understand what's going on. But all these faces are terrifying. But the, the, the theme and the message I want to get across with this video is, uh, yes, it's entertaining, but it's also a deeper message to it, right? Because I want to bring awareness to the things men say to women. And based on the talks I've had with a lot of men, they are really naive to some of the things they say and how disrespectful it can be to women, how disparaging it can be to women. Because if their normalcy is saying things like this and hearing things like this, then they think it's okay. They don't see nothing wrong in it. But I'm here to tell you, Seals is here to tell you to watch what you say. And if you wouldn't want this said to your mother or your daughter or any other woman in your family, then you shouldn't say it to another woman. Think before you speak. You cannot claim you're a man and still out here talking like a little boy. And for the ladies out there, this is for me to bring awareness to y'all too. Cause sometimes, you know, y'all don't even notice that y'all making these faces. These faces can be totally natural. And of course, y'all can't see these faces, so I'm here to t to make y'all aware of these faces that y'all do make. And one thing about me, I always do whatever it takes to not be on the receiving end of those faces. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all have a good and blessed day, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.